Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Yes Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.76. A weightless bar AB is supported in a vertical plane by a hinge at A and a tie bar DC as shown in figure. Determine the axial force S yes, induced in the tie bar by the action of a vertical load P applied at B. That means a bar AB is hinged at A and it is also connected with a tie bar like this and it is supported by a force P. Our interest is to find the axial force in the tie rod. For that, we will consider the free body diagram of this uh, bar AB. Since it is a hinged support here, I can find two reactions. Let those two reactions are RAH and RAV. And the force P is acting like this. Hence, there is a force P. It is also connected with a tie rod. So, the tie rod will introduce a force along the tie rod and it is away from the bar. Hence, this is yes. Why it is away? Because we are assuming that initially the force is tensile force. If you get positive value at the end, our initial assumed direction of tensile is correct. But if you get negative, that means the magnitude is same, but the force is compressive. Like that, we will conclude. Now, let us apply the equilibrium condition. Take moments about A equals to 0. RAH and RAV, these two are passing through the same point, hence these two will not introduce any moment. S force will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction and P force will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction. Let us discuss the distances. So this is the line of action of the force P. So from point A, this distance is given in the problem and that value is 3 meters. And this is the line of action of the force S. Yes. Now I required this distance. This distance is not given. But given that this distance is equal to 1.5 meters and this angle is 45. Hence, I can find the distance AD. How I can find? Let us take tan 45. Tan 45 is equal to the opposite side 1.5 divided by the adjacent side AD. But tan 45 is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to 1.5 by AD or you can say AD is equal to 1.5. So this perpendicular distance is also equals to 1.5. Hence I can apply the moment equation now. So P into 3 minus S into 1.5 is equals to 0. P into 3 minus S into 1.5 is equal to 0. Or our interest is to find the S. Hence S is equal to 2P is the answer for the given problem. 